All right, welcome to the solution for our previous week's challenge. In this challenge, your challenge was essentially to make a trap system. So let's take a look at our game here and what we have. So essentially all I have here is our player and this player can move uh, in directions. He doesn't animate, uh, he doesn't do anything complicated. He literally just moves, um, you know, left, right, etc. So you can see here we move around and I've just attached a spring arm with a camera so that way we can see our player and I've rotated it so that way we can kind of be at an angle here. You can kind of see the line right here is at an angle. It's not right in front of him. And now we have our arrow. So this is the trap that will be triggered. Right. So this is the arrow that will shoot when the trap is triggered. So let's take a look at what's in here. Now in here, we simply have a direction and speed, and the direction is going to be the direction of the player. So essentially, if direction is valid, then we'll actually move towards that direction in the X position. Now you can do whatever other positions as well. I'm just doing the X position because uh, this is kind of the uh, this way, essentially, right? So that's kind of what I want to do. And then here, once it touches the player, Right, so here it's going to check to see if it's the it's touching a player. It'll just destroy itself, right? I'm not doing damage or anything. You're more than welcome to do that yourself. And next, uh, the last part is the trap trigger. Now, to make a trap trigger, all we need is an area 3D. An area 3D allows us to detect something that enters an area and do something based on that detection. So here I have this area. It's kind of hard to see, which is right in front of my player. Now, on top of that, I also have a trap spawn. This is kind of the position of the arrow that will spawn it in. So I'm kind of thinking of a uh, those old uh, movies where you would kind of walk in, you step on something and then an arrow shoots at you. That's kind of the goal of this. And inside of the trap trigger, I've created an arrow scene. I've gotten access to the player and the trap spawn. Now, all I need to do is instantiate the uh, arrow scene. And then I'm going to create a variable for the direction of the player. And essentially all this is, is the trap spawn uh, s position subtracted to the player position. This will get me the direction from the trap spawn to the player. And then I'm just going to give it to the arrow. And then I'll just add it to the trap spawn. And that's it. Now, when I hit play, you can see when I enter the uh, trap and kind of go back and forth here, it will shoot an arrow towards my player. Now, obviously, it's not completely like amazing because if I just keep moving, obviously the arrow will miss. So you can kind of see how you might want to uh, predict things. You could take into account uh, if the player is pressing forward or space, that could be something you try in your game. So if your player is uh, pressing downwards or whatever, you can kind of adjust the angle that the arrow is shooting at. That way you can kind of predict where the player will be. So that's something that you can definitely try out. And I would definitely encourage that. So uh, hopefully this challenge was fun for you guys. Uh, this challenge is not too difficult in the sense that we've kind of already done similar things like this in our previous weeks of challenges, uh, but it was more in a 2D scene. So this time it's in a 3D scene, but it's generally speaking the same idea where we just have a direction, we add it, et cetera, et cetera, right? So most of this is pretty easy. Um, and yeah, so if you guys want to uh, subscribe for the next challenge, uh, do check out my email list. It's down below. All you need to do is subscribe and I'll send you the uh, weekly challenges with a solution uh, video as well every week on Sunday. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week.